Hey there, it's Paul Archer from dronesby.com and here's my unboxing of the DJI Mavic Pro. And I'll also tell you why I got it only now. The box it comes in is just beautiful and really small compared to a Phantom. And thanks to the handle, it can also be used as a carrying case. Wow, this is really nice. I've been so excited about this that I'm almost afraid I will break something. The foam mold inside is pretty sturdy, which means it will deal pretty well with pressure. So it wasn't far-fetched to say that I could use this as a carrying case. And this is the almighty drone. Although I have flown this before, I must admit I'm still impressed by the design. I'd say it's the best looking drone from DJI so far. And look at it, it's the size of my palm. But to be more accurate, here's a banana for scale. The drone comes with some stickers on it and protection covers. There's one on the power button and even on the sides of the arms, showing you how to unfold the drone. The gimbal protection dome comes with a silicone cover of its own that is removable. You can actually fly while having the plastic dome on, but some light interferences might appear when facing the sun, for example. Before flying the first time, you need to remove the dome and also take off the gimbal holder, or else the app will give an error. Here are the two front sensors that will be of much help not crashing this beauty. And again, just like the Phantom 4, it also comes with two sonar sensors on the bottom and two cameras that are used to pinpoint the exact location you took off from. The bottom side is all metal, but the plastic is also high quality and it makes me feel like this could actually handle some damage. From the back side it looks like a really cool car radiator. I must say this drone has a Lamborghini feel to it. Not like I know how a Lamborghini even feels. Next on the list is the transmitter. And it's simply amazing that this little thing can have more range than the Phantom 4 controller that's almost as big as this entire box. The sticks feel really responsive and the antennas are, again, very sturdy. I really like the ergonomics of this and it feels like a premium game controller in my hands. There are two buttons on the back, one wheel on the top left that controls the gimbal movement and one on the left that handles the light exposure. Here we have the record button on top and the photo button on the other side. They are pretty intuitive, like the obvious power button and the return to home one. There's also a very useful joystick on the right that helps using the menu functions. It can also handle the biggest phones on the market, like the 5.7 inch iPhone 7 Plus and down to the smaller ones over 4 inches. One thing that I don't like about this drone is the fact that it has a really low profile, making it almost impossible to take off from tall grass. Underneath the drone, there are two sets of propellers with two pieces each. The drone already has the bottom ones installed, so this means you get two spare props with the standard package. It's really easy to install them. Just look for the matching color, black or white, and then press each one down and turn slightly. It comes with instruction manuals and guidebooks, which I strongly advise you to read, so you'll fly safer for a longer time. And underneath it, there's the battery charger with two additional USB charging exits. Oh, and by the way, the battery on this is much easier to remove than on the Phantom 4, and lasts a little longer too. In terms of cables, we have two USB-C connectors and two for Android and the power charging cable. As I said before, I have a friend with a Mavic that waits two months for it to come, just because DJI launched it in the holiday season and they didn't have the stock necessary to face the huge pre-order numbers. Right now they will ship the product within one or two days and it will get to you in just a couple of days. However, I didn't want to wait longer because I was really excited to get on the hype train and the Mavic Pro is definitely not a gadget that will expire soon in terms of popularity. I think this drone will still be relevant technology-wise a long time from now and the only reason one would delay buying it is because you're waiting for a better version to come. Let's analyze DJI's marketing perspective combined with some technological limitations. First of all, the Phantom 4 Pro has just launched 
and they did it because people wouldn't buy the Phantom 4 anymore. But this is not the case for the Mavic, as it is a pretty unique product, maybe they'll attach a bigger camera to it. But what would they call it then? The Mavic Pro Pro? That is, however, a little difficult to do right now, because a bulkier drone would defeat the original purpose for the Mavic, and it would also make the Phantom 4 Pro irrelevant. So I'd say they won't release anything better at this size for at least another one or two years. This being said, I think the Mavic Pro is probably the best buy in terms of consumer drones on the market, or else I wouldn't have got it. However, if you're an absolute beginner, you might want to get yourself a very cheap drone to learn how to fly first. We have a free Chrome extension that allows you to search through trusted Chinese stores like Gearbest, Banggood, Fastech and more and find the cheapest priced items. There is also a tab with my top drone recommendations and filters for that. You can check the link for the Chrome extension in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some Mavic Pro vs Phantom 4 comparisons in the near future.